So, something may have given it away by now, but I love being outside. I love going on walks in the forest, especially with Chips, the love of my life, my best friend, my partner in all things, by my side. And this year, the walks have been so stunning because we are back down in North Carolina for winter. And the winter has been so mild, we just can't believe it. The trees have kept their color for so much longer than usual. The weather is so just perfect to go on strolls around. And we've been spending the time enjoying one of our favorite walks around a lake called Lake Pine that has a lot of special memories for us. Oh, it's a Cormoran Armada. Dun, 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 dun. Where are you going? Who knows? Ooh, pretty. Whoop. They don't seem to like to swim together. Like they all they seem exceptionally suspicious of one another. Whilst they swim. And non breeders have paler breasts. Dives underwater to catch fish, swims like a duck in between dives. Finds open perches to spread wings and dry feathers, can be found in large flocks or solo. Here's where the begging sound of the cormorant sounds. Oh, That's so <laughs> terrifying. Sounds like a little pig. It does sound like a little pig when they're begging. Here's a breeding colony. Okay. Cool. Cool. Very cool. They're really funny. I love how they have their ship. According to this, they migrate here. From where? So their year round is in Florida. And in part. Why do they come up? What are you guys up to? And they breed in like Wisconsin to Montana and then up into, into um, Wisconsin to Montana and then up into um, Canada. That's interesting. Where do you guys go backwards, huh? No. I think he's a flycatcher. Eastern flycatcher. Like, see how quick he moves his. Oh, 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 yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hop, 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 hop. We're vanishing into the bushes. What a tiny, tiny, tiny little friend. I've really learned that there's no way to feel more at home in a place no matter where you happen to end up living, and trust me, I've ended up living in a lot of places I didn't expect, if you spend some time learning about what life is really like there. And for me, that has less to do with the people and more to do with watching the wildlife, like this red-shouldered hawk. It's a beautiful hawk that we see very commonly in the trees and the forest, even around our apartment here, and it's absolutely gorgeous. It spends its day roosting in trees and searching out for different kinds of prey. Usually it goes after small rodents, it's definitely looking for mice and frogs, and I've seen it eat snakes before, but today it was searching out for the little anoles that had been drawn out by the warm weather and were basking in the sun on the leaf litter down in the forest below. I think that's what he ate the other time that too. That must have been what he had, right? Because you saw a tail. I saw a long tail. Huh. So he actually just flew off, saw an anole. Now he's digesting a second little lizard meal.
Good on you, buddy. What is he? I think he's a red shoulder. You think so? Yeah. Is that a kingfisher right there? No. Oh my gosh, it's a kingfisher. Oh, this is so freaking exciting. Oh my gosh, look. It's just resting in place. Oh, it's so cute. This is amazing. This is one of my absolute top list birds. He's just sitting there, judging all the ducks who are quacking up a storm below him. Oh, look at him. Oh, you're beautiful. I swear, every time I see a kingfisher, I'm just taken back by how unique they are, how beautiful they are. I can't tell right now if this one's male or female, but I'll be able to look up the patterning later and figure out exactly what they are. They are extremely shy birds who do not appreciate humans seeing them. So this one is actually very, very, very far away and only chips his very good eyes. Caught him flying into place. <laughs> Somewhere out here is the kingfisher. I've seen him fly back and forth over the lake as he runs from the people walking the path. And I'm just hoping if we hold still enough, he'll land somewhere we can see him again. They're one of my favorite birds. They're so amazing. All right, don't drop the expensive camera. <laughs> ah, that's so exciting. We saw a kingfisher, which are one of my favorite birds because getting a picture of them or seeing them is just so difficult to do. They're extremely elusive. They do not put up with people anywhere near them. And that one, that was a bonus kingfisher because I, I haven't seen one at this pond in a long time. So that was <laughs> in some of the best pictures I've ever gotten of a kingfisher. That is so freaking exciting. And it was so cool because even though I couldn't get more pictures of him, watching him swoop, that little flash of, of beautiful soft blue just darting over the lake again and again and again. Oh, there's something so rewarding about it. The challenge and the excitement. I'm wondering what his little life is like. I don't even know if it's a male or female yet. I need to compare like the chest feather patternings. Oh, I wonder if it nests near here or what it eats or what it was thinking of the ducks making all that racket. Kingfishers, gray herons, cormorants, red-shouldered hawks, hermit thrushes. Chips and I have walked this lake dozens and dozens of times. We thought we moved away from it forever, and then we ended up moving back. And every time we come, there's a different story that's told. And I'm just so grateful that we get the opportunity to visit with all of the wildlife and to really know the land a little bit better. 
every time we get a chance to come here. This is one of my favorite places to be, and I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity to share its beauty with you guys, especially as time moves on and Chips and I continue to explore wherever our life will take us, and especially as the seasons move on and the wildlife and the land itself around this lake changes. So thank you guys for joining me as we go on yet another walk around Lake Pine and we find something new shown to us every time. And I hope you guys will maybe have a chance to look around the world around you too and learn a little bit more about it, to watch things a little closer. And maybe you'll find the stories unfolding for you as well.